Hello folks, it's David Connolly here, the web developer extraordinaire. With your permission, I'm going to read the first part of this, and then I'll go back to talking normally in just a second. The past 10 days or so have been pretty electrifying for users of the TronGate framework. In spite of the fact that we're not getting covered by any influencers, we managed to have TronGate trending on GitHub for, we think, a solid week. At one point, we were the highest trending PHP framework on all of GitHub. Just a few days ago, we were picking up more GitHub stars than Laravel and Symfony combined. And I have a beautiful picture here. Check this out. <laughs> this is taken just a few days ago. And uh, as you can see, uh, just a few days ago, Laravel picked up 10 GitHub stars. But Trongate picked up 24 stars on one day, which is pretty remarkable. Anyway, I have to be honest and tell you that none of us had any clue about what was causing this sudden wave of attention. Nothing had been launched, there was no major framework updates, no tutorials, nothing noteworthy at all. The events of the last 10 days or so have been remarkable, so much so that I decided it deserves a name. Henceforth, that period of time will be called the Gold Run. And if you had asked me a few days ago what caused the gold run, I'd tell you that I've got no clue. Sure enough, the gold run appears to have come to an abrupt end. This is something that I suspected might happen. However, excuse me, <coughs> I don't know how to edit. I'm on a laptop and I'm at someone else's house. I'm on my old ThinkPad. <coughs> so excuse my coughing. Anyway, even though the gold run has come to an end, the good news is all of this has left us with some great information about what happened. And I'm now in a position where I can talk about what caused the gold run, what caused it to suddenly come to an end, and most importantly of all, why it's a strategy that I don't plan on using in the future. I would messaged Simon last night, by the way, hello Simon, and I'd says that I'm never going to talk about this publicly because I... It's information that I didn't want out there, but I'm actually quite happy to talk about this publicly now. So, excuse me. <coughs> so the question is, what caused the gold run? Well, uh, it turns out that a couple of weeks ago, I launched a video called Three Reasons Why Laravel is a Dying Framework. And that video was just a complete impulsive video. I, I, I was bored, I hit record, and I just came out with this off the top of my head. Little did I know that this video would pick up. I mean, it's it hasn't been up very long, and it's got over 10,000 views. And I think it's safe to say that because I had discussed Trongate in this particular video, 10,000 views is loads for a guy like me, by the way. So... What I think had happened is people had watched this. A remarkable amount of you agreed with what I was saying. I saw the comments and, and it was great. Uh, and I think that that led people to Trongate, which then led to Trongate trending on GitHub and all of that stuff. So that's what caused the gold run. Now, what stopped the gold run was that although we have a lot of friends we do have a few enemies and what i noticed in the comments was that the first few days everybody was cool but then after three or four days we started getting legions of these very angry sort of easily offended snowflake laravel developers coming on and they were not happy and uh, who can blame them actually who can blame them but it got to the stage where I was coming on four or five times a day and the comments were typically, well, I agree with most of what you're saying, but this was all, always how it started. Not one of them addressed the points that I had made, uh, but they would say, I agree with the points you've made, but, and increasingly the comments being left by the Laravel developers were just absurd. And... I was being accused of hate speech and stuff like this because I had critiqued a framework. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. 
And I discovered a feature on YouTube called hide user or hide user comments. So four or five times a day, I'd be logging in and I'd see one of these angry Laravel developers. Every time they said something negative about me or the framework, they got an instant five or six thumbs ups. And then I would instantly go in and try and delete them. But the comments kept coming and coming and coming. And eventually, what led me to just say I've had enough of this was uh, a guy came on. I believe he was from Germany, a Laravel developer. And he said, he said, what you've said here, somebody's mowing the lawn outside, I apologize for that. But he says, everything that you've said here could be applied to just about any framework. And uh, I would never use it because the developer's toxic or something like that. Now, as soon as that person said that, I knew what I was up against. I was up against cancel culture. The fact of the matter is, I gave three reasons why Laravel is a dying framework. And two of those three reasons are absolutely unique to Laravel. I spoke about it having the worst benchmarks. I spoke about how the makers are more committed to breaking their own framework than any other PHP framework. So the guy's allegation that the things I'm saying about Laravel could apply to any framework, well, no, they couldn't. And he knows that. But what he was trying to do was build up a little army of playground bullies to let's all go after me or the framework or something like that. So eventually I just said, you know what? I've had enough. Now, I actually like the video. I'm happy with my video, right? But I just thought, disable comments. Because I'm just, I'm done dealing with them. The truth is, I, and I assume there's Laravel developers listening. Look, I wish you the best of luck. But I'm not interested in uh, listening to this garbage. In fact, quite frankly, I no longer take Laravel seriously. I think it's a framework for beginners. Uh, forgive me if that sounds elitist, but it's over, you know? And so um, I thought, right, okay, I'm just going to close the comments, go on with my life. Who cares anyway? The moment that I shut the comments off, suddenly the gold run was over. Suddenly we stopped getting all of those GitHub stars. I mean, we went to like zero per day. It was incredible, you know? Tumbleweeds and everything. And I thought, that's interesting. And uh, like a bungling idiot, I switched them on again and then I switched them off. I don't even know if they're on or off now. But it would appear that when you switch comments off, YouTube says, see you later. And that was pretty much what happened, okay? So now we know what um, caused the gold run. We finally found that out. And uh, I've just told you what I think has ended the gold run. Now, excuse me. <coughs> As I was saying to uh, Simon last night, you know, when I, when I made this video, it, it was very impulsive. It was never part of a marketing strategy or anything like that. It was just a guy having a moment. And I had you know, 15 minutes to spare, and I just thought, I'm going to make a video. It was as impulsive as that, but there were a lot of things about this video that were like, you know, quite frankly, that, that were just nailed. I mean, the title effectively piggybacked off the back of a very popular framework. The title is sensational, and... I would accept any proposition that the title's actually clickbaity. That's a clickbaity title, you know. And again, as I was saying last night, this is a, a formula that I stumbled. I mean, I I only realised it like, like just yesterday, but this is a, a formula that could be repeated easily. It would be very very easy for me to launch a video tonight. And I could call it something like the Symphony Syndicate. And I could put Symphony on the chopping block and insert name of framework. And I could just do that, piggyback off them, nice sensational title, the thumbnail. We figured this out, right? We could do that. And in fact, it would be like switching a tap on and off as far as GitHub stars goes. I could have this framework having 
between 25 and 50 GitHub stars per day now. And all I have to do is follow this formula. However, I've, uh, yeah, yeah, I've decided that I'm not going to follow that formula. I mean, let's never say never, but I don't have any plans on doing this. And it's the reason why I'm talking about this. If I was going to do it, I would not be giving you this information. You can do the formula, by the way, if you want. You can take the idea, it's there, it's fine. Um, and you're welcome to my great research. But the truth of the matter is that I would much rather just do great work. I mean, here's the new documentation that I've been working on. And uh, it's a whole lot of work, you know. But I think that this is where my attention should be at this stage, you know. I think that's the right way. And if this framework of ours is going to make a dent, it won't be because of some marketing trick. It will be because it's a really great framework, you know. And apart from anything else, you know, it's like, do we really want to arrive in a world in, let's say, a year's time where we've got thousands and thousands of GitHub stars, but hundreds of thousands of developers cursing the day that we were born and coming after us and all that, you know? Well, I don't really want to arrive in that world. And so my own decision is that at least for the moment, I'm kind of quite happy that the gold run has ended and I still have a lot of work to do. I want to finish the learning zone. I obviously want to get the docs in shape and I really want to get the module market in good shape as well. We've got a lot of stuff that needs to be added. So I think that I would like to just spend the next three months or so just really, really focusing on that. And if we pick up any GitHub stars, that's great. I mean, if somehow, some way, if there's any kind of positive attention, that'll be great. But I just don't think it's very smart. Uh, I, I love this video, by the way. I stand by it. It's one of my best videos ever. But I don't want to make a, a habit of doing videos like this. Uh, because in the long term, I think it's quite damaging. I don't care about the ethics, by the way. Couldn't care less. But we do get the bonus of at least saying that we're doing a more sort of ethical strategy with the framework. And I think that's a good thing. And of course, a more ethical strategy is just focus on uh, building cool stuff, you know? So that's that's us. And it was just in case anybody had wondered what's happening. May I just say a very, very special thank you to those of you who have gone on places like Twitter and uh, other places. I believe there's been a few on Reddit, which I frankly refuse to look at but I've been reliably informed that some of you have been going out talking about Trongate and I really really appreciate that we all do just last night I saw that Steph Mischuk had posted a video sucking up to Laravel and I noticed three different people in the comments who've said why don't you check out Trongate or had said something positive about Trongate one of the comments had 11 thumbs ups and I'm really, really grateful for that. Now, unfortunately, Steph Mischuk, uh, when, when asked, somebody had asked him, why don't you tell us what you think of Trongate? Well, yet again, Steph Mischuk says, I haven't tried it yet, you know? So, for whatever reason, people like Steph Mischuk, Traverse, Banas, and all of the rest of the usual suspects are bending over backwards not to talk about this framework. You will never see Trongate being discussed on PHP News or anything like that. And that is because Trongate is the framework for people who have alternative opinions about how to build apps. It's very, very different from anything else that's out there. Now, I cannot do anything about that because we've still only got about 550 stars. It's not a top 10 framework. It won't be a top 10 framework till we get about 1,200 stars. So it would be very low vibrational for me to start uh, contacting somebody like Steph Mischuk and saying, Why, what are you playing it, man? You know, because we're starting to get to a stage now where 
I don't know if we can really take people seriously if they're going to just keep on ignoring this framework, quite frankly. I mean, that's not, that's not me, uh, you know, trying to be some salesman for the framework or anything like that. But how can you ignore a framework with benchmarks like this, you know? Or with features like this. There's about seven features here that you won't see anywhere else. How can you ignore a framework that has quite literally its own app store. I based it on the Apple app store. How can people just keep pretending that this doesn't even exist? You know, it's absolutely outrageous. And quite frankly, I think that some of the YouTubers who have bent over backwards to avoid talking about this, they should be ashamed of themselves. Look at all of the reviews and nobody knows about this framework. But, to those of you who have mentioned the framework, especially in places like Twitter and YouTube, it makes such a huge difference. Thank you so much. I'm very well aware of the fact that I'm not able to do this on my own and uh, you guys might be our only hope. So I really, really appreciate that. And I think you've just been updated. Thanks very much.